Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to our returning selves, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, uh, today, well, yeah, if you feel like the video is giving you a good uplift and give you insight that you need it, please, you know, go ahead and share. It will be greatly appreciated. Today, I am uh, going to be doing my tarot cards. I haven't did those in a while. And I decided I'm going to go ahead and do them. Just a second, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. I got my grandbaby here. So, it's like anytime I hear a noise, like, hey, you okay? But, um... Anyway, um, I haven't did my tarot card reading for a while, so I just took a break from the regular videos and switched it up. Um, and I started, uh, I haven't did this in probably about, like about two and a half months, so I'm just getting back in, in the full uh, course right now. Um, that being guided towards, this is going to be for the month of May. If it does not apply, let it fly. Not everybody on every sign is going to resonate with this, so please don't take it personal. It's just like insight uh, to be able to help you out, in, you know, especially in the areas that you feel like you may, may be needing it or unaware of that as well. So if you ever think about having a private reading with me, you know, uh, my, contact, uh, my contact information in the description box below. Universe, what does the the sign of Libra need to know for the month of May? What is what do they need to know for the month of May? Libra, Libra, what is in the month of May for Libra? Okay. soulmate somebody's worried about a soulmate coming through this is, this is like almost <laughs> it's the last few times i had people been heavy on a soulmate but no trust in divine timing everything is um flowing the way it should be you know they're saying no worries everything is taking place how it should be if you're allowing yourself to take time and for your you know for showing gratitude you're allowing yourself to take the initial actions is to either release surrender you know accept things for what they are forgive you know um, you're doing a good job so don't allow yourself to really go there being true to yourself if there are certain things that you're having an issue with letting go or unhealthy situations that is really truly needing your your attention to heal um accept release or you know allow yourself to mend you know universe says they're there to help you so you know they're they're waiting for you to give your assistance you know there's a lot of things they help out with but a lot of times it, it, it takes a place of free will as well and there's unhealthy friendship this in there there's some kind of toxic vibration that they're really strongly wanting you to cut ties with this person has been in and out of your life and um they um are saying these are the things that you know you have to be grateful for what they showed you but now it's time to end that uh ch -ch -ch -ch. retreat you've been allowing yourself to get when you go through isolation there's a lot of times you, you really um are starting to be more invested in yourself and they really appreciate that with you um they're proud of you for those different things you've been investing in your, yourself you've been uh karma clearing you've been cutting tides you've been uh, accepting things for what they are and they're they're really you know universe is proud of you for all those uh things that is taking place and like I said, you've been placing forgiveness through that retreat, you know, isolation that you, you did a big thing by releasing, uh, forgiving uh, things. There's a lot of things that has been taking place in our lives that, you know, um, people feel like it's impossible for you to forgive. But these are not for the benefit of, uh, you know, others, you know, it's allowing you to let healing take place to where it needs to you can't force anybody towards that but you can you have control of that within yourself and you're allowing this to give you that peace of mind that you truly need it and they are so proud of you because i keep seeing it beaming lights congrats 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 
uh, that was one of one of those huge milestones they said that you truly had, and they're they're really grateful for those things. And knowing your prayers are being answered from that, you know, you allowed yourself to be, you know, uh, to cut ties with that, knowing that is answering your prayers just because of that. And um, there is uh, children that um, that are strongly attached to this situation, and knowing it's like something is going to be revealed from this child that you have. Uh, maybe um, you and this child has not had you know uh, any kind of uh, strong connection as of late, but they they're telling you just. Uh, allow things to fall because it's like whoever this person is that you're very nervous about this connection with this child and they say everything is all good in the hood everything is all good in the hood you know every everybody's going through their reflection of uh, of healing projection right now and they're telling you no worries about that you know but Archangel Michael everybody is getting this oh my god Archangel Michael call on your sources man <laughs> call on your sources on oh, Archangel Michael and I'm hearing Raphael um, and Uriel I don't know why I just keep on hearing Raphael and Uriel you know they're calling you for that you can invoke them to help uh, have them help you towards your transition okay one more one more okay run, run from the problem okay oh there been you've been having dreams that's giving you indication about a celebration about to take place. Your celebration is about to take place, but they're telling you to listen to your dreams because your dreams is giving you insights about that. <laughs> you need to go ahead and let it do what it do, boo. You really do. You got celebration. You got so much to celebrate. You know, you've been cutting ties with a lot of things that are very unhealthy for you. Been very unhealthy for your path. But you see that these these are the things that you needed for you to strengthen in ways you didn't see coming. And, are, you know, and that's good for you. You know, because they say as soon as you, you cut off that tie to whatever that is, it, it's like that celebration has come full flow, uh, full course. And there's no, they, they're telling me heavy, no worries, no worries. But it's like when I'm seeing it, I'm seeing an engine like, um, like a chain, you know, like around a bike. And I see it and it's going fast as smoke, so it's coming full-fledged. You just don't even realize that. You're more worried about it not happening, but they said it's taking place sooner than you expected. So go, Libra, go. Libra, oh my God, y'all got something good. Okay, and then, uh, okay, one more. You went through self-acceptance. You have accepted yourself for everything that has taken place, no matter flaws and all. You you are accepting of that, and they're they're saying congrats. You're getting balance. You are allowing yourself to create balance. You have been very solid on your boundaries and all under play and you needed that you know before it was just like you, you allowed certain things to take place and you created that balance that you are you are being serious about that you created a strong intention whatever you know you focused on on what needs to take place and i'm getting spiritual chills like crazy right now for you libra you've been taking the initial chances of change you've been challenging your own self on different things that was hard for you to be able to break away from and they are so proud of you for that but you have been lacking on your studies. They telling you better get back on that. You got homework. <laughs> they're telling you you got homework that's taking place. So that there's something somebody's gonna mention mention something to you either through text or somebody's gonna forward something through an email or you're gonna have a conversation with somebody and it's gonna be very intriguing and that was the universe's way of showing you this is something that you need to be studying. If you've been having this this creative vibe in the back of your mind, it's telling you to get on it. This is that time, you know, and stop focusing on this romance because it's there. That romance is so there. You know, uh, it's, it's like the other two spreads got the same thing in reverse. That romance is there. 
and when you're allowing yourself if, if you have a counterpart that um that you have this which you have a strong it ain't if but you do have a strong spiritual connection with you allow yourself to be open towards that you know and it's just like that study it has um for the study you know there, you feel like there's a lost cause it's a lost hope and you see that that um rainbow i know i did the video the other day and it was showing you know it, not everything is sunshine and rainbow you know sunshine and rainbows and it's just like there's certain things that you felt like you you lost hope on and they're telling you not to do that you know this romance is destined and they're saying it's destined and it's faded nothing can stop that they said stay focused you know stay focused on the good there's so many different things that's taking place into your life and it's that when you're staying focused you're accepting yourself in every way and that's what needs to take place libra and your guardian angels has really been trying to get in touch with you you know especially when you have that heaviness is when you start focusing on what if or i should have or you know or living in regret and they're telling you stop doing that you know everything happened the way it was supposed to happen these are blessings in disguise you know uh, you know there are certain things that you know it couldn't be helped but it flew you know it, it fell it fell exactly where it was supposed to and you know and you're you're getting ideas that's why i was telling you about that somebody's coming through that is going to bring something that's really going to intrigue your mind and then whatever it is it's like something that is giving confirmation of something you've already been thinking about from what they're saying it's like some some kind of excuse me some kind of creative vibe has been popping up back and forth like doing a peekaboo and you were like should i do it or should i not and there's somebody that you you're going to con be in contact with and they're going to give you that confirmation um and they're like take care of your body you know eating right you know allowing exercise meditation you know meditation is good for the body because there's a lot of things like maybe you have been sore you know because uh like you've been having a lot of headaches or you've been having a lot of body aches it's like certain parts of your body is holding stress and they're telling you to be able to release that and you have the support you know that you have the support just like i said you know a few minutes ago you have somebody that's coming in you know there's people in your life that really want you to win you know and they're going to help you do that listen to the music there's so much music that's coming towards your way and it's just like you know whatever that question is they keep on saying that song is on repeat either you hear it or it's in a playlist of yours and it keeps popping up you know randomly and as you know already know nothing is by coincidence or a accidents it's confirmation on something that you keep focusing on and it's giving you that confirmation that's happening and it's you know and with that worry that you're holding on to that what it should have could have should have could have would have whatever that is that you know you, you keep on beating yourself up over a dead horse like don't cry over spilled milk this is happening for a reason and that is something's coming because my chance it um it, you bringing something in <laughs> as soon as i said that something's coming there's a blessing coming don't allow yourself to mess up your manifestation based on worries you know open your heart to that you know because that manifestation of your new beginnings because you're worrying about that and it's like it's coming in but don't worry like i said blessings is coming yo i mean shoot you don't self-acceptance you know your manifestation allow yourself the manifestation is coming in because the guardian angels is trying to help you manifest that because it's like balance it's like balance and guardian angel and manifestation is all right there in that you know you have so many blessings that's coming your way just because the fact is you released a lot of things you have cleared your slate you accept things for what they were who they were and those are the connections that you had it, that you're having and then you have forgiveness a big forgiveness on something that really shook you you know and it's telling you to take your power back because whatever it is you know you are worried there's something that you are really worried about and they're telling you it's already taken care of don't worry about that because something's trying to merge you know something's trying to merge when you accept yourself for how you are what you have been doing there's something that you're not accepting they said there's something about you know something that you, you still holding on to and they're telling you you know bring fun into your life relax these things everything is happening is just exactly the way it's supposed to you're healing trust the process 
you you know see everything through a child's eyes you know don't take everything so seriously a lot of times it's like speak for yourself Rose. when you're going through what i am no but you already know that you know universe is going to deliver you a package you didn't even expect trust the process because while you're healing trust that everything is unfolding the way it needs to and you're going to have financial uh freedom did you want to say financial freedom something is you worried about some kind of money uh that is, is taking place and you're gonna have you know because I, I was trying to say freedom and I ended up saying financial but I guess that pose has been there anyway you got a financial blessing that's coming you weren't expecting you know you may have been uh, tied down you you know you've been having bills that you've been able to pay but it's just like you haven't really been having enough to do what you need to do and they said there's an un unexpected uh, uh, financial blessing that is gonna come through right when you least expect it so they're telling you, don't be worried about that soulmate. You know, trust in the timing that it, it, that will be delivered. You know, when you be in true to yourself and go to the universe about the thing, especially these unhealthy attachments that you have, that you're really having problems with, uh, you know, releasing. They're telling you, you know, come to them about that because there's a friendship in here that needs to just have that cut, that, that tie done. And when you allow yourself to um, go into retreat. You know, you're going to see so many different things in a different way. So it's telling you to breathe. Take more time out for yourself. If you have to go back and retreat again, do that. If it's telling you to go back in isolation, do that. Because it's keeping you away from any distractions and staying focused on yourself. Because the forgiveness is taking place. You, you Maybe you need to still forgive yourself for different things. Don't be hard on yourself. Because celebration is coming. You know, when you start uh, healing that inner child or you're worried about some children that has something tied into certain things, knowing your prayers are being answered through that. You know, the dreams is trying to tell you that and Archangels, you know, Michael is trying to help you sever those cords with that. You created balance with yourself. You have you have been solid on your intentions you know don't be worried about the romance because that study they're telling you to focus on your study you've been focused but they're telling you to go back and study because there are certain things that's coming in that is going to collab around with your creative vibrations that are telling you to you know become strongly connected to that you have guardian angels that are really trying to show you the way of that they're going to help inspire you with new ideas they're telling you you know make sure you watch what you eat you know, I'm um, not overindulging, um, gluttony, keep on hearing gluttony, um, and exercise, you know, um, allow yourself to meditate, that's like food to the soul, you know, you have support everywhere, you know, music is uh, sending so much insight to you, um, and, and stop allowing yourself to uh, worry about the manifestation of the new beginnings, because that's blessings, those, those are sorts of things that nothing, no matter what's going on, what's taking place, this is already in in full circle because of what they're telling me is in full circle and that chain is moving fast so it's telling you to take your power back you know um and allow yourself to merge strongly with your self-acceptance you know um there are certain things that had to take a pause because there are certain things you're still healing from and it's not saying it's delayed but it had to take a brief a brief rest for a minute you know and it's exactly and they're saying this was already in store for that was already written so there's nothing that you did that you know thinking that you haven't done enough because this is something that needs to happen there's a life lesson that like they keep on saying this uh, they're saying this is that final that final test when it comes to that and it is needing you to take your power back from whatever that final test is um, and that merge and when that merge has paused because the other other two readings got the same thing when that merge has paused It's gonna come back and it's gonna hit heavy and when it hits heavy it's gonna hit fast and when it hits fast It's gonna be very powerful. This is something that can't you know, it won't be able to stop There's gonna be a door that no man can't shut And these are things that is deserving of you uh, Libra, you know, you're you accepted yourself for who you are you know, and it took you a long time to do that. And they're proud of you for that because they're telling you, you know, you set yourself, you know, even though there may be things you didn't like, these are the things that even through like the most ugliest things that we feel, find the beauty in that, you know, the beauty in, in, in what you may feel that is ugly or what makes you feel that is less than is so much greater than you, you're, you're allowing yourself to, uh, take credit for it. When you allow yourself to let play into life, you know, allow yourself to enjoy your days. You know, life is too short. You're going through healing, you know. And then you see that when it comes to that, when I'm, I'm seeing this, when I'm seeing this about uh, that soulmate, you know, that soulmate, uh, 
was taking place. Yeah, right here. Uh, uh oh. That soulmate. And they're telling me to put that together. That soulmate is helping you. Just you, even though you don't, you want you're dying for that 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 physical. They're helping nurture you through whatever y'all are going through because they're going through it too. They say if you you know if they suffer, you suffer too. You know, so they're telling you to trust that. Trust that. You know, you're about to be free from all these this this craziness that's taking place. And it's like trust that. <laughs> like don't then you know you are free. You don't even realize it, but you're free. I'm gonna allow you to see these cards, Libra. You know, congratulations. You're doing such a good job. You know, you're allowing change to really take place for you. You deserve that. Okay. So Libra, congratulations. I hope that you know that helps you out in any kind of way possible. You know, congrats because you have really come, you know, really come a long way. And for them uh to let you know that celebration, celebration is not in reverse. So that is taking place and it's taking place sooner than you expected. That's what they just said. This for you, and this is something powerful for you. You have really earned that. You have earned your stripes from what they're saying. So, you know, hey, use this as that cheat sheet of a blueprint that takes you towards better. So, if you ever want a private reading, I always leave my contact information in the description box below. I hope this was able to help you, Libra. Much love to you. Peace.